1985, Tomorrow's World heard about an impressive new invention. It was billed as the strongest sticky tape in the world. So, of course, the programme had to try it out and asked Peter McCann to jump right in. This sign has been stuck together with it. Incidentally, a much larger sign than that on test in Scotland did collapse in a gale. But it was the concrete legs that gave way and not the tape. Some companies are even using it in vandal-proof shelters. You can see the tape round here holding in these specially strengthened glazing panels. And believe me, you'd need the bus to drive into it to make them shift. And if you think that's all a load of rubbish, then let me tell you that this is reckoned to be the strongest sticky tape in the world. And with a reputation like that, you'd think it ought to come with a government health warning. Not so. It hardly feels sticky at all. And the reason that it can hold bus shelters together is because of its amazing viscoelasticity. Well, that's just a posh way of saying it behaves rather like chewing gum. The elasticity helps to resist shock, while the viscosity makes it stick. Actually, it's an effect that we've probably all noticed before. If you get a bit of glass that's just wet with plain ordinary water, you can stick another piece of glass to it. But, in fact, it slides very easily. But take that one stage further and have a much more viscous liquid. In this case, it's just good old syrup then it sticks together rather better and it also slides less easily. The more viscous the liquid, the firmer the bond. So, if you could make a tape which behaves like an extremely viscous liquid, then it should grip onto things without the need for any extra glue. There we are. There is, in this case, an immediate bond, but in fact the tape is still flowing slowly into all those microscopic nooks and crannies in the surfaces so it won't reach full strength for at least another couple of days. So, in the very best cookery programme traditions, we have a little test rig here that we prepared earlier. It's made up of a sheet of polycarbonate, and that's the sort of stuff that they make bulletproof windows out of, and there's a big hole here in the middle. And we've patched that hole up with an overlapping piece of polycarbonate on the back, and the only thing that's holding the two together is this one-inch strip of the tape. So, let's... Let's see how strong it is. Hey! Well, that seems pretty well fixed, but I'm just a mere strip of a lad. Meet John the Bear Elijah, who weighs a rather more substantial 17 stone. <laughs> I'm told he's quite a nice man at home. <laughs> So, what's happened to that amazing sticky tape today? Well, the technology has advanced, and now it doesn't just stick glass and plastic. Today it's being used to build a luxury new hotel in Dubai. Perched on its very own artificial island on Jumeirah Beach in Dubai, the hotel is so new it hasn't even been named yet. It's a VIP getaway for the ultra-rich. Access is by helicopter, boat or private road, and rooms are expected to cost over a thousand pounds a night. It's taller than the Eiffel Tower, and although it's ultra-modern, the multi-storey hotel has ancient roots. It looks rather like an enormous sail, reflecting Dubai's seafaring history. And the white cladding that gives the building its maritime look is stuck on with sticky tape. The reason? Winds in the tiny Arab Emirate can get up to 30 miles an hour, gusting up to 50. This led the architects to abandon the traditional idea of using rivets to attach the sheets of cladding to their aluminium frames. Because of the sun and the high winds in Dubai, engineers had to test the sticky tape to find out how well it would stick. Since Peter McCann described the tape back in 1985, there have been 22 new varieties on the market, but the principles are the same. The key to the incredible stickiness is viscoelasticity. It's the elasticity that means that the tape can expand up to 14 millimetres in the wind without peeling off, and the viscosity that makes it flow into the microscopic pores in the surface. The painted aluminium white cladding is prepared with a promoter to help adhesion. Then the tape is applied carefully to the frame so it's held absolutely flat. The panels on the frame are then put together by hand. There are more than 10,000 altogether. The hand-joined unit is then put through a roller which presses the two together to get rid of the air bubbles and that's it. Ready to mount on the hotel that hopes to be the highest in the world.